Welcome to this unscheduled episode of Searching for the Question Live. I want to talk to you how it is possible to set up a voiceover function using StreamYard. StreamYard is the platform that I am using to broadcast and live stream Searching for the Question Live simultaneously on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and i am always curious in exploring new possibilities and new features i am multilingual i enjoy multilingual and multicultural environments and i speak several languages but of course i also understand that a lot of people even if they do speak english or spanish or any number of other languages they may be more comfortable listening to a complex subject in their own native language. And at physical conferences, it is often the case that you can uh, pick up when you register um, and uh, you find your seat uh, in the main uh, keynote hall where you're about to listen uh, to somebody speaking, a device, that uh, will allow you to select a channel where you can uh, listen to the speaker in their own language or you can listen to simultaneous interpreters who are sitting at the back of the hall typically and uh, they are translating and interpreting what is being said and you will pick that second channel if you're more comfortable in the target language. So I am going to show you how this can be done using StreamYard with a setup that is complex or simple. I don't know, it works. So I hope that uh, you will find it valuable and then I welcome any kind of feedback to let me know that you can improve on this setup to make it uh, simpler or improve it in other ways. I already know two, three ways uh, that uh, it can be made, uh, if not simpler, but uh, more performing. So let's start with the basic setup. The basic setup uh, is what you see on the left side of this chart. And once again, both the target environments and the languages are just examples here. Um, it could be not English, but any other source language, original language. It can be not just YouTube, but uh, any other destination that you connect to StreamYard. So if you are streaming normally this is what happens and nothing uh, on the right side of this chart and that should be very clear that is what you are seeing now somebody speaking in english and streaming to youtube or facebook or any anything else and on the right side of the chart that uh, the uh, tricks start happening and uh, further on I will show you actually how this works uh, with a sample test that with the help of my team uh, in Argentina, we just uh, actually recorded. So what happens uh, in the right side of this chart is that you have a second set mirroring the first. You have a StreamYard account, and you have a YouTube destination. The trick is this arrow in the middle because you are connecting the output of the first stream to be the input of the video of the second stream. And you can do that very, very simply just by sharing the screen. So uh, this is hard to read. Maybe I can uh, uh, make it a bit bigger here. 
Uh, looks like I can't. But uh, what I wrote is that here the the screen is shared sharing the english video without audio adding the interpreter's audio right that is what i wrote on the on the chart and and then in streamyard many of you are aware it is possible to have a guest that is not appearing on the screen. StreamYard is extremely simple uh, to, uh, to, um, to use. And uh, you can see that in this second window that I'm showing now, that the, there are in the upper right upper left corner you are seeing streamyard one this is english the lower right corner left corner sorry lower left corner you are seeing streamyard two and these are labeled english speaker and spanish voiceover just for illustration purposes so the interpreter in the second StreamYard account is sitting in the backstage. The host will bring the interpreter into the stream, but the screen share, just as I am doing now, will completely hide the interpreter. So the interpreter is not going to be visible, but the voice of the interpreter can be heard. And then, as it is shown in the chart, you connect the output of that second stream to a separate YouTube video. So the people listening to this hypothetical um, conference or keynote or live stream that is uh, simultaneously translated in two or more languages will go to one YouTube URL or another YouTube URL, depending on the language they want. And this is what corresponds to the switching of the channels of the headphones that you are given when you go to the physical event that is uh, uh, also offering a simultaneous translation so let's uh, look uh, look at it and here you go five four three this is a test of a setup that we created to show how StreamYard can be used for delivering a speech five, four, three. This is a test of a setup that we created to show how StreamYard can be used for delivering a speech or video stream in one language to a given destination and create a second channel to a separate destination with the same video but a different audio hypothetically coming from an interpreter Y crear un segundo canal para, una, para un destino separado para definir el mismo video con un audio diferente. 
y poder tener así un traductor en un lenguaje secundario. So that is how it happens uh, in a real test that we did uh, just a few minutes ago. Uh, and let me enter into a couple of details here. So one detail is that uh, audio can be complex. And uh, the interpreter in particular has to listen to the audio coming from the English channel on a separate device. And the interpreter will for example, connect a smartphone to the live YouTube uh, stream and listening to the English language source, in this case, the voice of the interpreter will be recorded with the uh, microphone of the StreamYard channel. And the interpreter will speak in Spanish, in our example, and that will go to the second YouTube destination. The second thing that I want to uh, mention is that you may have noticed an enormous amount of audio lag. Now, the, the, the largest was where it didn't actually matter because the first window where you see the four separate windows here, English StreamYard, English YouTube, Spanish StreamYard, Spanish YouTube, this is a Zoom recording of our test. So the fact that there is a lot of uh, uh, delay here doesn't matter. In the second, there was no delay because it is a direct stream so if you don't have a delay now, as I'm as I'm talking to you, there wouldn't be any delay watching the English YouTube. It's just normal. But then there was delay in the Spanish language stream that you were listening to. And uh, it can be overcome. There are ways, and we may dedicate a separate uh, live stream to that, even though I think there are plenty of explanations already. It is possible to introduce an artificial delay in the audio to bring it better into sync uh, with what is seen over the screen. I didn't actually show you, but uh, it would have been very visible uh, when I was doing the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. This is Korean. Five, four, three, two, one. This is American. Five, four, three, two, one. This is European. Uh, anyway, regardless of how you move your fingers uh, uh, when you count down, uh, during the countdown, the Spanish came like 30 seconds later. This also happens during uh, simultaneous uh, translation in the conferences, but a little bit less than, than 30 seconds. So introducing the audio de delay is, is better, or video delay, I mean, whatever it is, to bring it back uh, in, in sync. So this is uh, you know, a first uh, test, and uh, I am very curious uh, to see how it can be improved. Uh, also, how to reproduce it with other platforms, uh, introducing OBS or Restream and, and things like that. So um, thank you, Cosimo, for coming by and saying nothing. Uh, thank, thank you, Johnny, for helping with the tests and saying hello. And uh, thank you, Emiliano, for asking a very appropriate question. I did not uh, contact uh, StreamYard yet to show them the setup because I will show them the video streaming through StreamYard of the explanation of the setup. 
uh, and that is uh, what I'm about to do as soon as I uh, finish here. Uh, so uh, let me finish. And uh, thank you very much. This was uh, fun to work out, to configure, to test, to record, to share. And I hope uh, uh, you, you enjoy it. Um, Cosimo says that uh, it was a GIF. Well, it is not showing up for me. Sorry, I will uh, look at it uh, on uh, the Facebook. Yeah, I will check Facebook directly. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do as soon as I stop. Bye-bye.